Take a pill, wash it down with some coffee, and um, write. Nine walkouts, JJ. Nine. Nine! Within the first 15 minutes. That's like a walkout per minute. But maybe they were employees. Wow. Good thing we don't work here, right, buddy? Have to sit through this shit all week? No, I don't think they were. All right, Jeff. Uh, you seem depressed. Have you been taking your medication? Oh, I can't afford my medication, JJ. I think I'm going to have to start meditating or something. That's a, that's a, that's a cheap alternative, isn't it? What? Sit around your apartment like a lazy hippie? You're already not generating enough material. Oh, I can't afford another failure, JJ. Hey, why don't you ask yourself this, Jeff? Why did you not go bankrupt after your last failure? Uh, I nearly did. But... Jim Reaper? What about Jim Reaper? He gave you your only success to date, right? Because he used my script? Exactly. And you said you're working on something now. Oh, I, I finished it. I have it here, but I'm not letting Reaper touch it. So why don't you give Jim Reaper this one, then you write another one for yourself, then you have two sources of income. Problem solved. There we go. All right. Cha-ching! I'm not giving Jim Reaper anything, but you do bring up an interesting point. Maybe I should direct my scripts for a change. I've been stuck in these mediocre scripts by other people for so long. I've been dying to do something of quality. Yeah, that's what Jim Reaper said when talking about doing a follow-up to your script. Hey, hey no, you don't need to, no, 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 he did. I wrote it down. You're gonna love it. No, no please, that's not good therapy. Oh. I've been dying to do something of quality instead of all the complete shite I've been doing, especially the shite written by complete fucktards like Jeff Little. Jim Reaper. Doesn't matter. When this is over, I want you to call Quarter Century Studios and apologize for me, would you? Oh, this next one, guaranteed hit. Mm-hmm. You have the Morton guarantee. Why? Do, do, Jim Reaper, do your job. Jim Reaper, do your job for Christ's sake. No, don't. don't Wait, say, hold on. No, not you. Me. Huh? Mm hmm. Elaborate. 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 That's the title. I hate it. The movie's not called Elaborate. Elaborate's probably just a working title. It's not called Elaborate, it's called Grinding the Axe. It's called Grinding the Axe? Really? No, that's great news. Oh, that's fantastic. Okay, yes, I'll tell him, thank you. Can I, can I tell him? What, what's this, what's this? I can't. What are you writing? Well, all right. Okay, thank you. They said you got a deal. Really? Whew. That's good. That's good. They got very excited once I mentioned Jim Reaper. They want you guys to meet at the Midas Touch at 8 o'clock. Wait, what? What about Jim Reaper? Reaper is directing your script. Say again? Nailed it! <laughs> hey, Jeff, come on out. I got the studio interested in you again. That's what you wanted. You got the studios believing I'm Jim Reaper's bitch? Yeah, that's what got them interested. You're not getting my script. They're not getting my script. He's not getting my script. Oh, then this shitty version is what they're getting. Tell me what you think. Elaborate the movie. Fade in. There's a car crash towards some naked titties. A super muscly guy does some push-ups before grabbing a grenade. 
In slow motion, he throws the grenades at the cars and they blow up, still in slow motion. He looks at the camera and says something cheeky. I knew you'd see it my way. This is 112 pages. Why did you make that deal, JJ? You know how I feel about him. So what? He changed your last script. Move on. Who cares? You know the real reason why I haven't had a hit in a while? While, while directing? I don't know. Too many night scenes? No. My films are too... They're too inaccessible for the audience, man. They're too intense. Look at this. There's no action here. This is... One person talks, 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 blah, 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 blah. This is bullshit. And Jim Reaper, he just takes all that away, man. He just strips it and redresses it. Adding a cargo pocket here and there to give the people what they want. Yeah, I don't like cargo pockets. Does this really need to be 112 pages? My films don't even fit people sometimes. It rides up the crotch. You get a rash around your neck. I'm not used to this. Reaper's like what athlete's foot is to athletes. That's what he is to me. His his name is Writer's Black. Are you sure you don't want to send him my script? I'll give you credit for it. I'm going to be going. It's 8 o'clock. Midas touch, come on, don't blow this. And don't meditate. I didn't reach my mantra, JJ. Yes, I know, I know. Yeah, in fact, I was about to. I can't be because I'm on the phone with you. Oh, okay, really, you're just gonna keep going? All right, well, here, what's that? Direct your call. Uh, direct it to the Midas Touch. The Midas Touch. That is the worst direction I've ever had. Please hold. Midas Touch. Alice? Jeff? Is Jim Reaper there? I think he might be. He is there? No, he was here. Oh yeah, he he left a note for you. What does it say? Uh, your script is mine, Scallywag. Scallywag? Yeah, Scallywag and a uh, bunch of exclamation points. Hold on, I'm coming in.
Why? You know, I, 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 I taught him. Ellis. Let me see that note. Okay. Here you go. Scallywag, yeah. What the, who the fuck says Scallywag anymore? Well, if it isn't old Scallywag! How does he know to call me that? He's been sitting here since 4 o'clock. You see this guy right here? That's old Scallywag. The best swashbuckler in uh, Can you throw him out or something, please? Sorry, man. It's been a slow week. Can I get you another beer? And the answer is yes. Like, I would like another beer. You're just, you're just gonna give him another beer? And one, and two, and three. Did they say anything peculiar to you while they were here? Did you, did you pay a lot of attention to them? Well, did it, you know, anything peculiar besides the whole scallywag thing? They had a bunch of papers with them. I think they were contracts or something. A, a page ripped off in half under one of the chair legs. Wait, they were writing on all of them? Yeah, they actually ran out of ink in their pen partway through, so to borrow one from me, I figured it had to be a really long contract, and they ran out of ink. There's no contract that long. They were writing on my fucking script, those sons of fucking bitches. It's Jim Reaper's piece of shit ass. God oh. damn it. Language. They mentioned you as a story credit. Does that sound familiar? Hey, no, 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 uh, uh. no. It's, you're not dating old Scalawag here. But no, bitch. Old Scalawag, my best friend. <laughs> oh, I've never seen that woman before mm. in my life. Mm, you hear that, everybody? <laughs> if anyone's gonna be dating old Scalawag, it's gonna be me. So don't touch him. I'm gonna have to touch you. I'm so glad you're playing a loud song right now. <laughs> um, do you have any idea where they would have gone? Away from this guy, I hope? No, I don't know where they went. Fuck them. I'm sorry. Uh, I better go call them before I'm completely cut out of this picture then. So, thanks, Alice. Uh, thanks for the note. Well, that was interesting. Now, we're going to do a new tune I've been working on. We just finished it this morning. It's called Scallywag Sketches. I've had a little bit of trumpeter's thumb, so I'm going to mouth along to this one. And one, and a two, and three, and four. <laughs> Change your last script. Move on. Who cares? Instead of all the complete shite I've been doing, especially the shite written by complete fucktards like Jeff Little. Jim Reaper. Jim Reaper. Jim Reaper. Does the music bother you? No. Okay, good. I'm Lily, by the way. Jeff. So, where can I take you, Jeff? The top of Success Mountain would be nice. Okay. Uh, where, where is that? That's Jim Reaper, he'd know. Jim Reaper? The filmmaker? You know him? He's trying to direct my movie. Wait, so you don't? And I'm sorry, I don't follow. You're a writer? Director. You're a director? Oh, well, I don't recognize you. You may know me. I'm an actress. Are you method acting for Taxi Driver too? No, silly. So, have you directed anything recently? Mold wine. You did that? Yeah, uh, you saw it? Uh, you got a red light here. Oh, don't.
don't you worry about that. I do it all the time. And you know, it is a-okay <laughs> as long as there are no sirens. I'm gonna let you go this time, but I am gonna make a call to your boss. Rodney, right? Okay, Mr. Officer, sir. Cops. <gasps> I hate them. And that one had that whole cop cape thing going, too. Thinks he's a superhero. What are we talking about? I, I can... Oh! You directed Mold Wine. That's right. That is so cool. So you saw it? You know, most of it. You see, I was with these people, and they had to be home early, so I, we had to leave. But I really wanted to finish it. Yeah. Do you go to plays? Plays? Uh, no. Not really. Oh, uh, well, you should have gone last weekend. We did Imaginary Invalid. Mm-hmm. And it got a standing ovation. Oh. Sorry, I missed it. Well, you know, we did it as a musical. So it was it was a little weird, but it was good, you know? I guess so. You don't like musicals? Yeah, the logic of them concerns me. That is too bad. That might be the last play I do for a Heading for the big time. Oh, the director. Really? Yeah. So you're minus a director now. Well, sort of. You see, he wasn't even very good to begin with. I don't think he used me properly. There's this other girl, Christy Kelp. <laughs> And he gave her all the really good roles. And God knows, Robbie will give her Bella because he's got this thing for her. Robbie? He's the guy that's trying to direct right now, but he's so... Ugh, he's so inadequate. So, you know, if I don't get Bella, I am taking a long away to hiatus. Bella, huh? Hmm, where is this theater anyway? Is it nearby? Oh, we're going there right now. Oh, uh, it's in town then. Yeah, you see, you didn't give me anywhere to go, so I am naturally just drawn to the stage. Sure, that, that, that's fine. I, I want him to see it anyway. Um, did you, did you want some wine? I'm good friends with the owner, so he always trusts me with the keys. Oh, damn it, I think I left him at Robbie's. Shit. Oh, uh, no, it's, it's fine. I can come back tomorrow. It's not Absolutely not. I know another way in. Are you sure this is legal? It's okay. People do this all the time. Almost got it. There. That's two in one night. You got a case of the people's court coming your way if you keep this up. You're lucky Mr. Sheffer over here vouched for you. Yeah, maybe, God willing, officer, he could tell us what he's doing before you cuff his ass. Oh. I was He wants to be our new director. I was just showing him the place. Well, what the hell have you done then? Um, mulled wine? Ever hear of that, officer? No, me neither. Uh, what about, uh, Greenlit Harmony? Alright. Get him, oh, officer. God. Uh, um, what about, oh god! What about, uh, okay, 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 Tru uh, truth, ah, truthful path? Truthful path? Hmm, the path to righteousness? Wait a minute, officer. Sounds like a spiritual film. Are you a man of my stature there, junior boy? Do you read the good book? No. What? No, it's not a, it's not a religious He's film. He's worked with Jim Reaper. Jim? The Jim Reaper? Well, in that case, you may direct here any time you'd like there, junior. Stay out of trouble. Any time, Mr. Shepard. Have a good evening, officer. You too. You think you can get me Jim Reaper's autograph? I'll see what I can do. We're doing Lost in Yonkers by the Jew. Neil Simon? Hey, that man is unbelievable with Yiddish. But I didn't pick it, damn it. That's what we're doing. Well, uh, I was hoping to be able to do something that I just wrote. Is that at all possible? Look, I don't care what the hell you think you need. I'm gonna give the keys to Lily. Keep an eye on him. Leave it just the way you found it. Don't make a mess. We'll see you later, Lily. Well, can I get a copy of the script or something like that? Hey, I don't care what the hell you need. What the, f the hell kind of a place is this? Isn't Rodney great? Uh, is he? Uh, you don't have to thank me. Just give me the part of Bella and we're square. But I, I don't... Come on, who's you're going to love it. Who's Bella? I'm going to bed. I have been acting here for four years. I wasn't going to let my legend die with Jasper. Uh, who's Jasper? The old director here. I told you about him. Um, the, the last director died? Yeah. I thought you said he was hitting the big time. Yeah, he died. You don't have a time any bigger than that. Ta-da! Well, what do you think?
you think, Mr. Director? Uh, I think the alcohol just kicked in. Anyway, you don't remember? You weren't that drunk. I guess I was. Oh, huh, well, let's just say it is a shame there wasn't an audience. <laughs> so, uh, auditions. Do they work? What do you mean? What do they need to know? Uh, yeah. You show up, actors show up, actors read, you give them their parts. Well, I know that much. There's nothing in particular I need to know for this theater company that I just stumbled onto? I mean, I don't even have a copy of the play. Would you stop asking me questions? One more question and I'll leave you alone. Auditions are when? Five. Tonight at five. Can you just take me to a bookstore so I can get a copy of what is it? Uh, Lost in uh, New York? Yorkers? Not Home Alone 2. That was a joke. How may I direct your call? J.J. Martin's office. Why? What do you mean, why? What? Oh, thanks, J.J. Jesus. Where's your cell phone? I think I left it at the apartment. All right, well, I had to drive the three stores to get this. Oh, thanks, man. I'm scared to ask, but what do you need it for? Uh, <laughs> well, I'm directing a play for a local theater company, but, uh, yeah, it's going to be good. Uh, uh, your what? Uh, you're about to strike a big movie deal. You don't have time for this shit, Jeff. Uh, actually, that deal didn't go through. What? Well, it did, but not for me, for Reaper. Wait. Reaper got your script and you got cut out. Is that what you're saying? That's exactly what I'm saying. So you're jealous of Jim Reaper's success in the movie industry and you're hoping to match it in the theater world? Is that what you're saying? Hey, you know, who knows? Maybe this will be a big smash and I'll get the rights to my script back. And they'll all come crawling back, begging me this, apologizing to me that. Jeez, might have to be quite a smash. It's possible. Hey, could you uh, drop me off at my place? I have, a, uh, I, have, I have auditions at five, and I uh, haven't read this thing yet. I want to be prepared for this, JJ. That's what you want. Can you open it? Can you open the door? Hey, man. Thanks. Thank What's up? You. Yeah, hey, hey, how you doing, Mick? Can I, can I get oh, here? just hanging out. A couple of my mother's friends playing Pinochle. <laughs> you drink, right? Uh, sometimes. You want a beer? It's like 3.30. <laughs> no, no, I don't, I don't drink that much. Shit, I, all I do is drink, Jeff. <laughs> well, I'll, uh, I'll keep that in mind. I'll take a rain check. Oh, if you change your mind. You know where I live, right? I certainly do. I certainly do, mate. Okay. Can I get through? Good right. yeah. time, man. Thanks. That's nice. Thanks. Appreciate Beautiful, it. man. Yep. Bye. Where to? Footlights Theater. Where? Footlights Theater. What in God's name is that? Cody! Stop! Right now! You're... Uh... I think the word's terrible. Okay. Listen, Cody! The theater. You take a left off bovine or right on... Hey! Mm. I, I, I've seen you before. Do you know... Do you know the play? These are Jewish people. Jewish. Not jew -y. Also, what's on your head, man? Is that a yarmulke? You're old scalawag! That was supposed to be a left back there. <laughs> I don't believe it. Left off bovine. Left off bovine. There. Hey, so where are you going again? 
Footlights Theater. What the hell for? I'm directing a play. What play? You wouldn't know it. Turn around. Uh, is it Back to the Future 2? Because I know Back to the Future 2, if that's what it is. All right, I laughed. I wasn't supposed to laugh at all, but it did. It wasn't supposed to happen. All right? I wonder what's taking Jeff so long. Oh, my God, Chad. Uh, maybe, uh, I think maybe he's either got stuck in traffic or maybe oversleep. Or maybe he died in a fire. I don't really care. All right, when this guy gets here, I'm not going to give a shit again. <laughs> that would be great. <laughs> Wait, so uh, right, right here, right? But I don't, I don't even know where we are. This is bovine. This is Basin. So, a left. No, it's supposed to be a left on bovine. But uh, no, I think we're here. You can let me out here. Thank you. All right, what we need to do is keep this audition going. Let's see if there's any talent in this room. Maybe some talent. Some wannabe talent. Let's see who's next up here to, uh, you know, dazzle us with their talking. Jeff! Oh, sweet. Where have you been? Oh, uh, I was, uh... Oh, it's, uh, it was a lot... No story. one cares where you were, Jeff. Is that your name, Jeff? Who are you? I, it doesn't matter who I am. Because I'm directing this play. And frankly, you look like shit, man. Complete shit. You get hit by a stupid idiot bus, maybe you get a mirror and look at yourself in it. Because you look stupid right Robin, now. Robin, stop. Show some respect. He's made movies. Oh, oh, I love movies. What movies, dude? An old wine. Mold wine. So two shit movies about wine. That's one movie. So one, one movie with two titles. That sounds ridiculously horrible. I hate it. And I hate you. Now that the Wino director's here, let's all wave bye bye to him. Bye bye. Bye, Wino. Thank you very much, Robin. sir. Stop. Honey, he just thinks that he owns the theater because his father does. Honey. Honey? Honey? It's time for my audition. Wish me luck, honey. Oh, shit, I did it again. Sorry. Okay, give me some room. I, hold on, I didn't get any explanation of. Cody! Give it a rest, bro! You sucked. You are not good at acting. Get out of here. Hit the bricks. What's going on here? He didn't give me a proper audition. I gave you your audition and you sucked. We all saw you sucked and we all agree that you were pretty terrible, man. So why don't you take a seat next to these other fucking rejects with glasses and blondie and this guy and that guy, all right? <clears throat> Last I knew, you have no say in the casting. I think he looks right for the part. What? So I'm giving him the part. You got the part. You are out of your mind? What's wrong with him exactly? And you've made a mistake, you fucking whiner. What's wrong with him exactly? His hair, his voice, it's, his face, the way he asks, the way he looks at me, clearly the we way see, he's wearing shorts. Clearly we see the character differently. It's big, Cody. What do you want me his to... voice is fine. Ugh. Uh, Cody, sit. Uh, Robbie, shut up. Lily, act. It's Lily's stage now. Take it away, Lily. Hey, man. I fucked her first. I never fucked her. With my penis. Okay. Wait, what am I doing? I've already got the part. Thanks, honey. Wait, what part did she get? Bella. <laughs> you fucking cunt. Oh. Uh, food. Keep your hands oh. off me, you sycophant. A uh, sycophant? Sycophant? Look, I don't know who you think you are casting over me and then trying to grab at all my goodies. Oh, I see. So you get a taste of theatrical Taurus and suddenly you get a craving and you think Christy is the one to satisfy your hunger? Well, you might as well just be a penis-shaped human if that's the way you're gonna act. Okay, enough. It doesn't matter what's true or what's not because Jeff Little is here. The play called Lost at Home and Lost, Lost, Lost in Yonkers needs to be cast. Ready, steady, go, man, go to the stage with the actors. A play is a foot and we shan't waste another week. What the hell was that? That was Jasper. Tell him to keep it down. I think Jasper's problem was that he kept it Do up too often. Do you even know what the hell you're doing? I think so. I do not think so. Oh, really? Yeah. Mm. And I don't think my dad, Rodney Sheffer, 
the architect of this amazing theater is gonna like the report that I dictate to him. Um, okay, well, if you wish to report my uh, process as suspicious, I implore you to do so. But only on the grounds that you will look really foolish when your dad sees how professional the dailies look. Hey, newsflash, this is theater. There are no dailies. Um, I, uh, uh, the, uh, the, men the mental, mental dailies. I have lots of pitching experience, you sycophantic philistine. I'll use it to get you fired. Now, if you'll shuffle to the side, I have a cast to play. Thank you oh, very much. My hero. Uh, not now, Lily. E enough! Enough! This Lily situation with me, you, and Lily needs to be addressed. Uh, hey, you can have her. It's not gonna. <laughs> it's not gonna be that easy. Mr. Fancy Film Pants, I gotta beat you for something. I don't know what it is about your face, but I gotta beat you for something. Man. Seriously, that's not gonna fly. It's gonna have to fly. I'm not you. Apparently the only reason I'm here is for this purpose, but the person dropping the lights is Jasper. And if you're not gonna start auditioning people for this play, then you can consider me out of the production. Well, then bring Jasper forward this instance, and uh, don't, don't you go anywhere, Christy. I, I guarantee you will be in the play. Something prominent? It's a second female lead. Just give me Jasper. Are you serious? I mean, yeah, it's a perfectly respectable role. I mean, it's uh, full of uh, meaty one-liners and uh, uh, severe undertones and and uh, uh, just uh, plenty there to seek your teeth into with the, with the cleaning and everything. Yeah. I mean, it's, a maid is a perfectly fine profession and great character. And I think you would nail it. I really do. No, I mean about Jasper. About bringing them? Yeah, uh, yes, of course. Crew, will you please bring Jasper forward? Jasper's dead. So dead. What? I told you about him. He was the previous director of this theater. Heading for the big time? That one? Yeah, the one that you're replacing. Um... Oh, uh, uh, give me one second. Uh, come, come here. Are you telling me that a dead person is tossing lights around at random? That Jasper the ghost, a ghost, is just throwing lights around, heavy lights, around my fragile head? Don't be so retro. Ghosts are a part of the theater experience. Embrace it. I'll embrace it when I see it. More importantly, when I see that it isn't trying to kill me with heavy light fixtures. I don't like you when you're angry. It makes me dry. Oh, there's water out of it. Oh, really? <laughs> I dry you up? No. Uh, I have auditions to think about. Your dryness is out of my concern. Ask Robbie. Ask me what, man? Ask me to punch you so hard in your stupid face that you piss mulled wine all over a paper bed? Because I'll do that, man. Sure. 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 Sure, 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 S-H-U-R-E, sure. Well, guess what, movie face? I got a little challenge for you. Do you? No, that's not okay. That's for me. That is for me. I challenge you, Hitchcock, to a duel. To a duel. Robbie, a no! Duel. A duel. A duel? Very yeah. serious? Overly. I can just come back later. Really, I like to relax before work. Um, Listen! All right? Knock it off! It's not about you, man. It's not about this play. It's about me. And you. Play! He gets me. He really gets me. Hey, Matt, what part do you want? Really? Truly? Honestly? My duel.
I don't, I don't know. Over, over Lily, that's, that's specious reasoning for a duel. Well, maybe next think? time you can fight over Christy, since apparently she's the kind of species that you love enough to shoot Robbie over. I, he said no pistols. No nope. one's shooting anybody over no here. Pistols. Well, maybe you can drop lights on each other's heads for all I care, since apparently I'm far too unappealing to be fought over. <laughs> don't let Jasper hit you in the ass with a door on the way out. <laughs> right? <laughs> <laughs> And sometimes you do gotta win, bro. Sometimes you gotta win! I want you breathing, monkey set man. My ears are your ears to be like the man. You don't like musicals? Man, the logic of them concerns me. That is too bad. That might be the last play I do. I want your fireman, sat the monkey, I want your prayer. Monkey sat to man, my desire is to be like the man And this was all the monkey spoke when his word came down. La fille dans la jungle, c'est quand même bien sympa. I wish I had my glasses. Came as soon as I heard. Hey, Shades. Yeah, yeah my wife, JJ. It's okay. It's Tom Cruise, man. What's up with your neighbor? I, I, I don't know. I'll just get in there. It's fine. That's how you got your injury? A ghost? Yeah, I'm with you on how crazy that sounds. But trust me. Yeah, quite vexing when you discount shoddy handiwork and okay. gravity. And I get it, JJ. I get it. All right. I'm not going to convince you. Fine. I was going to tell you about my dream I had, but I'm afraid it's going to further invalidate my story. Well, makes perfect sense. Well, I think we solved that one. We? What do you mean? What? What are you doing? Just noting this epiphany. Noting this epiphany? I didn't have an epiphany, you dolt. I... Wait a minute, you just charged me for that, didn't you? What? It counts! Rangers want to wear my red suit. But when they... Oh, hey, man, you're actually here this time. Whoa. What happened? Nick Jr. As I'm known. All right, put her there. Okay. Nice and sober, I see. Whew. Hey, Jeff, how you doing, man? I saw your movie there, Moldy Wine or whatever. It's cool if you're gay. Or have a boyfriend, right? Whatever. Moldy Wine is better than what this reviewer called it. He called it dulled wine. Oh, fuck, man. You all hear about the rapture? It's gonna happen tonight? Probably not. I'm getting nice and wasted, you know, so I'm not all nervous when the Messiah comes down. Yeah. So that means you're dying tonight? No, man. I'm gonna see him. I'm gonna see him. That's right, sir. And, and he's gonna suck my soul up into the sky, like, and he's gonna be like a crucifix pose. You know, it's gonna be fucking sweet. Yeah, but you have to die to get to heaven, right? Isn't... The rapture when God or one of his representatives comes down from heaven and picks those who are worthy while the rest of us are damned to live a life in a hell on earth. Jeff, is he fucking with me right now, man? Fuck. Oh, man. Oh, shit, you guys are right. Either I died tonight or it already happened and I'm stuck here. Fuck, bummer, Mick.
God damn it! Oh man, I gotta go. I gotta go see my mom. No, Mick, Mick, come, 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 no, come back, come back. So, something, something I wanted to ask you about, real quick. Oh, this is a good one. This reviewer said they were dealing with constipation, but your movie irritated the shit out of them. Come here. Come here. All right, Mick. Tonight at the Minus Touch, you know the Minus Touch, right? It's a bar. You know bars. Anyway, we're going to have a uh, script face-off between my script and the rewritten version of my script by this constipated windbag named Jim Reaper. I would love for you to come and then cheer for my script, and more importantly, vote for my script as a superior version of the two. It, is that... It, did you hear anything I just said? I'll buy you a drink or two. Or five. Or five. Oh, I reminded him of his thing. Can I count on you being there? Mick? I guess that's a yes, that's his favorite way to communicate. So Jim Reaper, what are you saying to him? Well, if he gives me an excuse, I'm going to sock him in the smug face. No, you won't. What, you don't believe me? I didn't even know about this whole script-off thing until just now. When did this happen? It hasn't yet. I, I'm, I'm challenging Reaper today. I've made that my goal. Ah, oh, you fundamentalist cowboy. You know you're just acting out, right? Hey, this isn't a therapy session, all right? Besides, I was going to set it up before you arrived. Yeah, you won't do shit. What's the bet? If Jim Reaper gives you a reason to punch him and you don't, then you owe me an extra 3% in residuals. 3%? Fuck. I know you wouldn't do shit. Jim Reaper walks all over your scripts. Well, why would you care if he walked all over the public's perception of you? You got a bet. Right, 3%. 3%. If he gives me a reason to punch him, and I don't punch him, you got 18% of my income. 19. <laughs> What's up, Jeff? Surprised to see you. I have a favor to ask, but, uh, was that a leg on the bar? No. Yeah, was you putting it on right now? No, I'm not. Then what's all that fiddling? It's the, it's the screws in my knee. Thought this? I was looking for that. Thank you. So, what, what do you want? So you just stab your knee skin with that? The screws are on the outside, Jeff. The exterior. All right, well, um, I was just uh, hoping to use this base for a script off with Jim Reaper tonight. Uh, that's ow. all right. God, ow! Are you okay? Yeah. Your request hurt, not my leg. Okay. I'm just gonna put this on the table before it gets any further, but uh. Is your leg fake, else? You can use the place tonight. Just tell me what's wrong with your leg. It's a golfer's knee, Jeff. I've told you, what, 2,000 times? Here, can you make sure Reaper gets this? Soon. I'll get it to him. Can I get a drink? Yeah, you want a beer? Man, nah, I'm thinking more of one of those liquors over there. These beers are for sale. They're two for one. I can get a beer anytime. That one on the far left is really catching my eye. It's Frangelica. Yeah, yeah, that's, yeah. That's supposed to be a really good one. You've always heard of Frangelica. It's about time I joined the Frangelico Club, don't you think? All right, one Frangelica coming right up. Right over there, just uh, anytime now. Why are you leaning back? Oh, yeah. All right. 
One for Angelica. Thanks. $31. Come again? You wanted to try it. Um. It's the talk of the town. Um, I'll save that for later. But thanks for uh, letting me uh, have the place and hopefully I have uh, that golfer's need looked at and then I see. You should put him in a movie. I don't have the power to do that anymore thanks to you. Oh, yeah. Huh. Ooh. What are you writing? I'm putting Ellis on a cast list. Ooh, a psychiatry the patient list. Uh, you know, an amputee's got to have some sort of issues, right? Let me see what you wrote. No! Doctor patient confidentiality. You don't need to see this. I can just tell Ellis next time I see him. No, you're what? not gonna tell Ellis. Uh, how's it gonna look for me if I have messing, messing boys running around town? No. Well, looks like I'm just in time for a therapy session of my own, huh? 
Um, yeah, I can squeeze you in. So in this dream, I try to pick myself up at a bar. He's wearing all white. Very snazzy. But even I wouldn't fuck myself. How do you explain that? Well, maybe you're not gay. Well, I know I'm not gay, JJ. Well, how do you know for sure? No, I, I think it had to do with, like, the duality within myself. Yeah, the masculine side versus the feminine side, right? No. No, 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 like the trying to not sell out, but trying not to fuck myself in the process. Tell me, Jeff, do you masturbate often? Yeah, I, you've asked me this several times, JT, you know the answer. Yeah, but do you ever do it in front of a mirror? I have, on occasion. What's that got to do with anything? I think we're making real progress here. And you've been hallucinating a lot lately, haven't you? I don't know, maybe? What, I don't know, what, why do you ask? Well, like, for example, earlier, you thought you heard Jim Reaper in the stairwell, didn't you? Aural hallucinations. No, but now that you mention it... Alright, let's check it out at 20%. Fair percentage due to your salary. Um... Yeah, I can squeeze you in. Son of a bitch, JJ! You're taking our Reaper as a client? Are you shitting me? What? No! Hey! Don't lash out against your therapist! Damn it! Don't... I'll lash out alright! Throw my shoe at you! Mm. Stop! I'm I make you money! Son of a bitch, JJ, really? You taking on Reaper? Jeffrey, Ray, taking on Reaper the Clint? Stop it! Get you get out of this chair, you son of a bitch! How long, JJ? About a year I've been courting him, but he only just recently said yes. It happened this morning while you were in the basement. You're fired. What? Jeff? Hey. <laughs> Are you okay? Jeff? Ellis left his arm on the ground. Can I still be your agent? I just fired you. I thought you fired me as your psychiatrist. Can I still be that? No. Are we still friends? Oh, you left that at J.J. Morton's office. I thought you might need it back. Yeah, I collect mannequins. Is that where your extra arm came from? Yes. Cut the shit, Alice. Is Jim Reaper here yet? I don't see him. No, he's not here. He, he did leave a note for you. What's it say? I'm not reading it to you. Just here. There. Give it. Give it. He's uh, improving his vocabulary. Yeah, it's probably from reading your scripts. It's like a martini, dry, no all of with a twist. Mr. Reaper. Mr. Little. That's Mr. Little to you. Pronto, Alice. Uh, can you do a pal favor here? Yeah, I'm coming right up. Dry, no all of with a twist. Yeah, that's right. Cheers. Uh, maybe you're not up on recent news, but Cheers has been around for 20 years. Yeah, Cheers hasn't been around for 20 years. Neither is your success. Nice try, but I was 12 20 years ago. Martini, dry, no olive with a twist. Thanks. Oh, hey, pelvis, I got you some oil for those kinks in your socket. I, thank you, I really do appreciate it. No problem, I appreciate you. How much do I owe you? Oh, with the oil and all, and you just being you, uh, it's on the house. Cheers. See you soon, Philistine. Or even dirt chase slide. Why can't I get a drink on the house? My credit's not good here anymore? No, your credit's not good here. Yeah, geez, I get it. Will you at least vote for my script tonight? I will vote for whosoever's script is better. I already lost JJ's phone. I need yours, please. I will listen to them both, Jeff. The Midas Touch would like to offer our gratitude and appreciation to great film director, Mr. Jim Reaper, for choosing our bar over all other local venues to have his birthday party. Come on, everybody, let's raise our glasses for a toast. 
to Jim Reaper, to Jim Reaper, and the films that he's made, and the wonderful films that he will continue to make. Happy birthday. Happy birthday, Jim. We here at the Midas Touch are very pleased to announce our very first script off. I'm excited about it too. In this corner, we have the writer-director of such films as the hard-boiled detective picture Dime a Dozen and the subtle yet moving little picture that could send off. Please welcome Mr. Jim Reaper, everybody. Yes. And in this corner, we have, uh, yeah, it's what, Mulled Wine is your movie? Uh, just Jeff Little. That's Jeff. Yeah, Jeff. Woo! Yeah. That's my neighbor. That's <laughs> my... How it works is one person will read a scene, then the other one will read the same scene. Both are expected to be different versions. At the end, we'll have an applause meter and a vote to determine who the victor is. In the meantime, may your criticisms guide this project to the artistic promised land. Contestants, please begin. That'll begin. Grinding the Axe, Act One, Scene One. begins the origin of Samuel Beckett's journey to completing Waiting for Godot. Grinding the axe, scene one, the interior of a shack, uh, in a rural midwestern shack, I guess. I don't know where Samuel Beckett's from. This dude Sam, he's all like, I don't want to cut you down, tree. He's got his axe, and he's like, tree, please, and he hugs it, and it's, uh, it's kind of awkward as Reaper showed us. I'm, I'm in this like script thing. They want me to read. It's like a publicity anyway, stunt. They say it's a competition, which is cute. But... And Samuel Beckett makes uh, Waiting for Godot happen as a result of this. The movie's about that end scene. <coughs> make a dinner make, and get champagne, man. His stool's very uncomfortable. Down. Woo! Yeah, great read, Jeff! Absolutely! I'm sorry, I just didn't realize how bad what I wrote was. I thought you changed the script, Jim. That's what I was led just, to believe. Hold, hold on a sec. Um, listen, I thought you changed the script and, and that's why we're here. No? No, you definitely kept my script, but I gotta ask why. It's so bad, I don't understand why you would want to make it. Even I wouldn't direct this garbage. Oh no, I love this script. It's great. It'll work once I work with it. Yeah, hey, um, Thai food? Okay, uh, you can have the script, Jim. I don't care anymore. It's yours. Take my name off it, please. Change it around if you like. Turn it into a musical. What about that? We'll make it a musical. That was an insult. I hate musicals. Oh fuck, man. Y'all hear about the rapture? 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 It's gonna happen tonight? You know, it's gonna be fucking sweet.
decided to join the party. What the fuck is going on? Well, the rapture happened. Well, I, yeah, I do remember a rumbling at the Midas Touch. After that is when we decided to save you. We've been rooting for your script, Mr. Director. Where's Reaper? Uh, he took off in his private jet. We were gonna save him instead, but he booked it pretty quickly. Instead? He's like royalty, you know. Was JJ with him? Who? My old agent. Slightly balding, slightly overweight, slightly cheap suit. Oh! There was someone who matched that description who met up with Jim, yes. He picked him up, ran with him in his arms, and repeatedly told him he loved him. We all assumed it was his dad. So, uh, really, you, you, you guys, uh, you picked me over Reaper? We couldn't give up on our director now, could we? Uh, you already said instead, so I don't believe you. No, uh, but anybody else, seriously? You guys actually chose me over, over Reaper? I mean... Nobody wanted you here, man! And that's a fact that these morons don't really want to tell you for whatever reason. And you are? You are. Oh, hey, man. Robbie Sheffer. How's it going? We met yesterday. You stole my play, stole my girl, stole my whole damn life. You remember that? Only one of those things is true. Guess what, man? Jim Reaper didn't die in no crash. I took him right here to the footlights and I let him. Nay, I was honored to have him direct this play. So you're just voluntarily giving up your seat to him? Yeah. In more ways than one. You two having a homosexual affair? Maybe. No. No, quite the opposite, actually. In fact, I'm having a heterosexual love affair with this very theater. That and Neil Simon's play, of course. So you're fucking my play now? If JJ didn't die in a crash, then where is he? Uh, yeah, he grabbed some amputee's limbs and started swatting the sky with them. Christ. Yes? Oh yeah, Jesus is here. I came to judge, but it was getting kind of scary, so I sought refuge where I could. Isn't he adorable? And he's Jewish. He is perfect to direct the play. Uh, he may be a bit overqualified. Are you really Jesus? Like, THE Jesus? That is my name, yes. You're THE Jesus, then? Well, that depends on who you ask. Well, I'm asking you. Well, then, um, no, not THE Jesus. A Jesus. Okay, fine! So, the world didn't end. We were just trying to find a nice way to tell you that... You've been replaced by Jim Reaper. Are you shitting me? Wow, really? His name is really Jesus, though. But not THE Jesus. Okay, clearly I'm dreaming. <laughs> you're not. Seriously, you're not. <laughs> Natasha from St. Petersburg. She was a trap assist. Ralph Vladimir from Chernobyl, he was a penguin boy, a penguin boy, oh, a penguin boy, a bloody, a bloody penguin boy. And there she's flying in the lights, and there he's dying for her lips, always hidden, always crying in the cell of his web. Natasha never look at me, but this night I've got a blame, there's nothing that could fail. Cause wrap up in this bully, Natasha never look at him, but this night he's got a blame, there's nothing that could fail, he's singing lie, lie, lie. Penguin boy, no penguin boy. There's 
sister very sad story of how big we boy of penguin boy 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 of bloody boy the very sad story of how big we boy here we go Tonight's winner, by unanimous decision, that being me, the last guy really here who could vote, but hey, whatever, I would like to congratulate Mr. Jim Reaper. Oh, well. Oh, my God. You really shouldn't have. It, it's all good. It's, it's expected. But Is this a dream? No, it's this ain't no dream, man. Jim Reaper won. It's fucking bullshit. What, what happened? Oh, in the panic of the rapture, a bunch of people booked it, and, and the rest broke into the bar and started guzzling gowns of booze, whatever they could find. And, and your friend, he tried to save your enemy, and he picked him up and started telling him how much he loved him. It was actually pretty sweet. I almost started crying, man. Well, sorry I missed it. Uh, so it wasn't the rapture after all? Oh, uh, no. I think like a plane blew up or something. That sounds pretty serious. Uh, don't listen to me, man. I'm fucking wasted. Up here? There's always a plane blowing up. I'll take your word for it. Jeff, where are you going, man? You got my tab, right? What the hell, Alice? I'm giving him the upper hand award. Not this. What the hell just happened here? You passed out. We thought it would be more fair this way. But how does that even work? Why do you even care? Because fucking Reaper can't win. He's a fucking asshole. Even forfeiting your movie to him isn't good enough for you? No, it is not. I am not taking JJ up on that therapy offer. He offered you? Here you go, Alice. Uh, it's for you. Ah, uh, shouldn't have. Oh, and listen for the tab as promised. Oh, seriously? A fucking bribe, Alice? It's not a bribe. Oh, no, then what is it? Socialism? Up. You need to calm down, Jeff. I told Alice that I'd pay him his money by the time I turn 30, and today is my 30th birthday, so I paid the man his tab. It's capitalism, not socialism. 30, huh? That's rich. I am. And, and stupid, rich and stupid, that's where I was going with that. Say, listen, if it means a lot to you, I'll let you be my assistant director. Yeah, I'm not playing second fiddle to you on my picture. Picture? No. I'm talking about the play I'm directing, you know? The play Lost in Yonkers at Footlights Theater. What? Oh, yeah, that's right. You forgot because you passed out after blabbering over my feet for three hours. Remember that? <laughs> no, you don't. When the hell did this happen? I didn't create any of this shit. Great job, Jim. This is gonna do wonders for our working relationship. That was fantastic, I was moved. Thanks a bunch, JJ. <laughs> hey, sorry about earlier. I, oh, I got a little carried away. Listen, don't worry about it. It shows that you care. I do care. I do. I know you do. JJ, I think if you step outside and have a chat. I'll be right back. Okay. And then we can get a drink or whatever. We can talk. All right. Jeff, what the hell? What the fuck is going on in there? I can't think while you're crushing me like this. Reaper's directing my play and my movie? You want the long answer or the short answer? What did you think of the script? Oh, due to the fear of being crushed further, brilliant! You're best yet! Oh, it sucks! It was horse shit! You're getting worse and worse every year! But your idea of making it a musical, brilliant! Reaper's an idiot. It's just the thing that you need to get me out of this rut! But I don't like musicals. You don't like yourself! Hey, what's all this racket over here? Hey, Jeff Amigo Manchot, what's up, buddy? Oh, hey, Mick. Uh, kind of busy right now. Oh, is this guy giving you shit? Stay on the rail, baby. Uh, yeah, I mean, sort of. I gotta kick his ass, baby. Hold on, hold on. Hold this. Here we go. Uh, 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 uh. 
Kick his ass, Link! Try to make me cry. Oh, oh, go on. Go on. Cock fuck. Yeah. Woo! Think that didn't trick, buddy? Uh, yeah, yeah, it certainly did. Thanks. No problem, man. See you back at the ass shack. No rapture means more drinking. All right. See you, bud. Woo! Oh, thanks for holding my jacket. Oh, let's get you up. It was no match. You done good, Ma. You done real good. Let's get out of here. JJ? I guess we can uh, call that bet square now, huh? Right? JJ? Well, you actually earned it this time. My neighbor. <laughs> we're going ice fishing. Anyway, in the winter, when the winter comes, we're going to go ice fishing.
the stage too, whatever. Oh, thanks. Hey, what was that one dance you used to do? Are you serious? I don't. I don't even know what you're talking about. You remember? It was like a robot type dance, but you, you did it like this funny way. We used to crack up watching you. You tried to teach me once, but it didn't work. Remember? Come on. I don't, I don't have any idea what you're talking, why don't you show me, because you like it so much.